Hey guys, I really wish I didn't have to make this video. Um, I wrote some things down so I didn't forget some numbers. Um, but uh, Lyme disease is uh, growing at a faster rate um, than we have ever known in recent years. So from what the CDC tells us, we are about 300,000 cases per year. And um, it really uh, is, is mind-blowing when you look at the statistics. Um, recently, in a few of my um, support groups online, a few people have committed suicide. And that really sucks. And it looks like the numbers are about one in three cases of Lyme disease commit suicide is what I'm seeing from the CDC. And so, where it comes out as, um, in the new cases per year that we have, one in three causes for com committing suicide um, by Lyme disease. Um, and if the CDC's numbers are accurate, that means that we will have a potential for 100,000 suicides per year related to Lyme disease. And that is completely uncalled for. So if you would do me the great honor of signing my petition and uh, seeing if we can't get this to the right people to maybe alleviate some of the stress. I, Lyme disease in itself, um, doing all the treatments, etc., is kind of depressing in and of itself. Even if you have the money to do it. I mean, it is expensive. But it is some of the medications can make you extremely depressed but that's not what I'm talking about today I'm talking about how doctors make you feel when you go to the doctor's office and I've talked about it before in previous videos um, they make you feel like it's all in your head and they make you feel like you are less of a person um, for it I mean they don't even like accept it as like a mental illness you know they're just like no you have Lyme disease no, you don't. You don't have Lyme disease. It's fake. It doesn't exist. You are wrong. And there are a lot of things that are wrong with you because of it. And it, it really sucks. And that's the experience that I've had with a lot of doctors. Um, I got really lucky. Um, I won't say that I'm not. I mean, I'm not depressed because I can't get treatment or I'm even having, you know, having trouble with getting my insurance to cover some of the treatment that, that I'm getting now, which is it's fine, but it's not okay for people to have Lyme disease and not be able to get treated, um, especially if they have insurance. Uh, it's completely ridiculous to pay for something that is going to leave you non ta not taken care of. And so with Lyme disease, we find that it's much easier to go the natural route or to see doctors who don't charge very much who may not be as educated as other doctors um, and we get treated like crap by those doctors who are not as educated as other doctors um, but anyway please sign my petition I'm trying to start a hashtag with it um, just so I can kind of keep track of where it's going so ugh, kind of this is a terrible hashtag, but it's hashtag stop suicide by Lyme. And if you guys wouldn't mind sharing um, this video, also sharing the petition, which I'll put links to in the description. And also this video will be posted on the petition site as well. Um, I don't really know where to go from here. So if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments. Um, any ideas or options or anything um, I have a list of demands on the petition as well, so, uh, hand them over. Alright, thanks so much. Have a good day.